My main man, Alfred, you are thinking about doing your first fix in flip in the city of Cleveland. You saw this bad boy right here for sale by owner on Zillow. And you want to know my thoughts on the deal, if we can make it happen, if we can assist, how it's all going to shake out, right? You're a brand new investor, brand new to the Cleveland market. In fact, you're out of state, so you need boots on the ground. I'm going to walk you through everything and make sure we help you move forward if it's a good deal or we keep you back if it's a bad one. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. I am James Wise, and I am here to help people like you, people like my dude Alfred, make money doing the good deals Make money by avoiding the bad deals, right? And that's where we get this particular property. 10, 111 Gibson Avenue, Cleveland, 44105. Uh, it's a duplex. It's a 4-2, right? Two bed, one bath each unit listed at 47 grand. It's for sale by owner, right? Just so everybody's aware, folks. When uh, sellers list properties for sale uh, with a real estate agent, on the MLS, that's where you see the majority of properties, uh, they will go under contract with said realtor and they will uh, agree to a listing commission. And then when that realtor puts the property on the MLS, they agree to split that with buyer's agents, okay? So typically, let's just say it would be something like 7%. Uh, is the total the seller's paying, and then uh, the listing agent would go on the MLS and be like, yo, I'll pay y'all 3% to sell this, right? So the listing agent would keep four, other people would get three, right? In a for sale by owner situation, no commission is being paid by anybody, right? So uh, just so you're aware, Alfred, uh, I'm going to give you the video, right? That's what you paid me for, do the analysis. But if we were to move forward with something like this, uh, and you would like my services to represent you as your buyer's agent, that'd be great. But homeboy got to get paid, right? So I would uh, need to charge you about, eh, I could do this one for 2500 But before we even get to any of that, does the deal even make sense? That's what we got to figure out, right? So as far as the photos go, they got eight of them. They're all the outside, all right? All exterior, okay? They don't really give us too much to go off of, but that's okay. Because I did a little other research and I already know what's going down here, right? So it's forty-seven grand. You want to know if you can fix and flip this thing, right? As far as money goes, you'd be using a credit card cash advance, uh, probably like a 12-month no interest type joint, right? So you got to get in and get out before uh, you get in with like a 30% APR, understandable. You also said uh, you got some private guys that are willing to loan you some money, right? This would be your first flip. Uh, ever in real estate, number one, and it would also be your first flip in the Cleveland market. So would this one uh, be a good target for you to do? No, not at all. This would not. This would be like a horrible deal. Uh, you definitely cannot try to flip this property. Uh, this is fool's gold. There is absolutely no scenario where you would make any money. Somebody did make money, and it's the guy trying to wholesale it now. Uh, this property was just bought by this cat, whoever bought it, two months ago for seventeen grand. right? Uh, so this particular person, he's the only one that's going to make any money here, right? Uh, freaking paying, what is he trying to get, 47? He's trying to make 30 Gs, right? You can't buy this at 47K uh, and make any money, right? And there's a bunch of reasons why, right? Uh, one of which is going to be the ARV is going to be way too low. I pulled up another property on the same street because it's not on the MLS, but I wanted to get into my MLS map here, right? So in Cleveland, if you're paying attention, uh, to the Cleveland market, folks. Prices, you know, anywhere in the world, right? They go up, they go down, they go up, they go down, okay? Uh, currently, right now, where we're at, pricing in Cleveland, uh, in neighborhoods that I consider to be like C or D grade neighborhoods, you're paying like 100, 110, 120, 130K for regular 2-1 duplex like this. Not this neighborhood, right? This neighborhood is the middle of the fucking ghetto, okay? Uh, like, this is the street, right? Gibson Avenue, okay? And then I got the other street next to it. If you could, see, like, this is, like, literally the worst, like, neighborhood in the history of, like, 
the world, dude. Like, I honestly think you could be in Ukraine right now and deal with less violence, danger, and gunfire like than this particular street, okay? Now, each one of these little boxes, that's a lot of land, okay? All right? So here we have tear down, house, tear down, house, 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 house. Tear down, tear down, tear down, tear down, house, tear down, 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 house, tear down, tear down, house, tear down, 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 house, house, house. Cross the street, house, four tear downs, house, two tear downs, three houses, four tear downs, house, two tear downs, house, two tear downs, house, house. Four teardowns, five teardowns, house, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, three, four, five, six, seven, twenty, eight, tonight, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, three, four, five, there's six, there's seven teardowns right there, plus a bunch of teardowns down here, right? So all these teardowns, these are where the houses got to the point uh, where they were so dilapidated, uh, the, the sellers just opted to walk away from them and uh, not, not fix them, not pay the taxes. City foreclosed on them, tore them down, right? So the ARVs in this neighborhood are way lower than what you see in those CD grade neighborhoods, right? Like, so it's kind of like a crapshoot over here, right? You're like in the middle of the fucking ghetto, right? Like properties don't often sell. So like there's really not a lot of data. And anytime they do sell, it could randomly, uh, you see pricing anywhere from like people paying 17 grand, people paying 40 grand, this or that. Like I think the true value here is probably like in the 60s, okay, if it was totally fixed up, right? But the other issue is you're not the guy that could fix it up, right? You're out of state. You've never done this before. Uh, you don't have a construction team that will do the rehab, right? Holton Wise will help you guys do rehabs. We will do rehabs for your flips for you uh, if it's in the neighborhood we service. We don't service this neighborhood. This is an F-grade neighborhood, dude. This neighborhood is fucking jacked, dude. Uh, the reason we can't service this neighborhood is because I can't get – like, you know, people that actually hold the tools, right? Like, you take a wall, you got to physically have some dude fucking painting the wall, right? Well, the dudes that paint the fucking walls don't want to work in neighborhoods that are arguably more freaking dangerous than Ukraine, okay? They don't like their trucks getting broken into. They don't like dealing with the riffraff. It's a fucking mess, right? So uh, if anybody else is paying attention to the world, right, you know what we're dealing with in America in 2022, we're dealing with a labor shortage, right? So it's hard enough to staff a company in America in 2022, especially a property management renovation company like Holton Wise. So you start sending guys into the worst possible neighborhoods with the most possible crime, they quit, right? I can't operate like that. I need boots on the ground. I need to provide you guys boots on the ground. So I need my workers to freaking continue to work at Holton Wise, right? So you know, they don't want to do it out here, right? So you'd have to go outside of the Holton Wise spectrum. And the only guys you're getting uh, to work in neighborhoods this bad, they're like Craigslist cowboys, bro. And, you know, you're dealing with unlicensed professionals. It's a whole mess, right? So, like, the level of risk you'd have to take on uh, to potentially try to enter a brand new market, enter a brand new business, and go to the most risky possible area, it would be insurmountably insane. Not to mention your ARV is only like 60K. They don't have any interior photos, but I'm assuming it's totally trash, totally stripped out, because that's what happens when a property goes vacant in a neighborhood like this. Like, dude, it could cost 60K to put the sucker together, right? You, you spend 60K to renovate it. So, like, what are you going to buy it for, right? Uh, I don't know if it would cost 60K, though. That's the thing. It could cost less, uh, but I don't have that info, so I got to guesstimate worst case scenario for you here. Uh, but you don't have the ability uh, to get it done. Right. So it wouldn't make any sense for you. Right. Uh, the the only people that like make money on properties like this are like when local people uh, buy them and local people that actually renovate these properties themselves in their own neighborhoods. Right. Like I have like a nice network of like local guys that will be successful in businesses like this. But these are guys that they're running like renovation businesses and they're the owner of the business. But they're also going to be one of the guys holding the paintbrush. They're keeping an eye on things. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera, right. So those are the kind of guys that could be successful in neighborhoods like this. Guys that are brand new to the business have to outsource everything and are paying a premium for their money because their down to payment money come from a credit card, cash advance, and they got to pay private lenders that they know. This ain't it, bro. This ain't the joint for you, man. This one is, is nothing but risk with a very, very minimal 
chance of putting together a successful deal and to do so that would also involve getting the guy to come way off his $47,000 price point. So this one, no go Alfred, we are going to move on. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education and entertainment.